Oh boy, the time has finally come. Yo, what is going on guys? My name is Jack Silkstone. Oh yes, the most wonderful time of the year is very quickly approaching. That's right, it's not long at all now before Fright Night season at Fort Park kicks off. And today, I'm going to be discussing how I'm going to be covering Fright Nights on my channel this year. Because yet yeah, we're already in August and I haven't even mentioned anything about Fright Nights on the channel so far. Normally by now I'd probably be a few construction updates deep but as of yet I've said absolutely nothing and I'm going to explain exactly why in today's video. But to do that I need to take it right back to where it all began. Because yeah I've been going to Fort Park Fright Nights and I've been a massive fan of the event. For over a decade now, I've gone from literally being terrified of the mazes and refusing to go in them, to then reluctantly going in them and being absolutely terrified in there, um, to then slowly falling in love with the mazes and the atmosphere of the event, um, to the point where most recently I've been lucky enough to be involved in the event, as you would have seen in the behind the scenes video that I put out. So yeah, I genuinely am so, so lucky and I have been a fan of Fright Nights for so long. And it's this love and passion for this event that kind of kicked off uh, me filming these Fright Nights construction updates. Because way back in the day, um, when I was first kind of getting into the idea of horror mazes and Fright Nights in particular, no one was really filming any kind of updates or posting anything in regards to what was going to be coming to that year's event. And first and foremost, as a massive fan of the event, I wanted to know as early as possible what was coming. I wanted to join in on the speculation that was only really taking place on the forums like in Fort Park Mania and uh, like South Parks as it was back in the day. So yeah, myself and Kieran kind of took it upon ourselves to basically just go to the park for the day, have a little snoop around, see if there's any clues we could get um, for that year's event, see if there was any kind of construction taking place. And I'd just film our day chuck it all together in an edit that would normally take a good amount of time like they weren't kind of one day turnarounds like they are nowadays it would take about a week for me to edit and slowly but surely people started to find the videos and kind of get involved in this fright night speculation and construction world and yeah for those of you that don't know that's kind of how i started filming all of my construction updates on the channel nowadays i do it for new rides new events at theme parks around the uk but it all started with these Fright Nights updates. And yeah, it literally all just spawned from myself and Kieran being massive fans of the event and wanting to get as engulfed in the entire Fright Nights culture as we could and share it with the little audience that I had at the time. And yeah, for going on like over half a decade now, I've been putting out these Fright Nights updates every single year. Now, as I mentioned, last year was a really, really special year for myself and Kieran because as I'm sure many of you are aware, we were actually given the opportunity to work on some of the marketing video content for that year's Fright Nights event. And it was literally a dream come true. Like I genuinely say that the big behind the scenes video that I put out at the start of this year is the most proud I've ever been for a YouTube video on my channel. Like I genuinely, it is one of my favorite videos on my channel. And yeah, I think it really just captures how much we were in our element and how honored we were to be in that situation and how much hard work and dedication we put into all of the marketing for last year's event because it was genuinely the most amazing thing and I'll look back on it for the rest of my life with the fondest of memories. But yeah, obviously whilst doing all of this amazing filming for the actual park, as you guys know, I did continue filming my Fright Nights updates. And since then, I to this day receive a few kind of negative comments about how I did that. And I've never really spoken about this on camera, but looking back, I don't necessarily regret what I did, but I do think maybe if I'd have done some things slightly differently, then I could have gone about it in a slightly better way. As I say, I don't really like to regret things, and it was a really weird situation for me because for the first time ever, I'd been told 
all of this insane information months and months in advance. And I just loved doing the updates so much. I didn't want to give one or the other up. Like I'd been given this amazing opportunity on one hand um, that I was never going to turn down. And then I've been filming these Fright Nights updates that I love filming and uploading for so many years. Like I didn't want to give either one up. So I kind of went with both. And as I said, maybe looking back, I could have done a few things differently. But at the end of the day, it is what it is. It happened. And yeah, as I've always said, I've learned from that situation. And I'm going to implement a lot of these learnings this year. I'm kind of taking the original Fright Nights construction update formula and I'm basically separating it into its different aspects. Because ultimately, with these updates, you have the physical on the ground construction updates where I'll literally show you guys everything that's taking place at the park. Um, like if a maze starts getting built, and I'll show it. And then on the other side, you've got the speculation side of things where we're kind of guessing about what's gonna be coming to the event this year and looking at all of the teasers and trying to dissect it all. So yeah, you've kind of got these two halves that make up the Fright Nights updates. So yeah, in regards to the actual physical on park stuff, I'm very much still gonna continue doing these kind of updates. And obviously I'm in a super, super lucky position in which I'm able to go to Fort Park pretty much every day if I wanted to. Um, and I know loads of you guys unfortunately live like a good hour two hours if not more away from Fort Park so you're not able to go there as regularly as I am so being able to show you guys these updates taking place literally um, as and when they happen is so cool and I love being able to share that with you now in regards to the other side of the updates the kind of speculation and everything as I said, I think this is where I kind of missed the mark a little bit last year because obviously we had been given the opportunity to hide all of these awesome Easter eggs and stuff in these marketing videos. Therefore meaning that there was loads and loads of stuff to speculate about. Like you could really dissect all of the videos and there were little Easter eggs for like the new mazes last year. However, ultimately, we were the ones that put those things there so it was a very strange situation and as i said i have very much learned from it so this year i'm not going to be uploading just these kind of standalone speculation analyzing videos for the teasers that come out but because i do love all of the speculations so much and i do really really still want to be involved in it all I'm gonna be hosting Fright Nights live streams. That's right, after an official video from Fort Park drops on their channel, I'm gonna be going live and hanging out with you all um, and reading out all of your latest speculation for that video that's just dropped and just kind of joining in on the hype of everything. And who knows, we might even have like the official Fort Park account in the comments again, kind of once again joining in on the speculation and everything. And yeah, I just wanna basically create a space where all of this speculation can take place in real time. I'm gonna be reading through all of the live chat comments and talking about different theories that everyone has and kind of spotting Easter eggs within all of these videos with you all. And yeah, just sharing it in these live streams as and when these videos drop. Obviously, because of my schedule and everything, I'm not gonna be able to go live for every single video, but as many as possible, I'm gonna be going live, literally from as little as 15 minutes to a few hours after that video drops. Be sure to drop me a follow over on Twitter and Instagram because I'll be updating um, kind of if there will be a live stream on particular nights over on those social media platforms. But yeah, basically, if an official video comes out, then hopefully there will be a live stream from me where we can hang out, talk about what happened in the video and kind of dissect it a little bit. And yeah, I'll be reading out all of the speculation that you guys have. So yeah, if you are watching this video on the day that it comes out, then uh, expect a live stream later on this evening. And yeah, once we then roll around to the actual start of Fright Nights, because it'll be here before we know it, I'm sure. We've already shot our way through the year and it's already August, how crazy is that? Um, but yeah, during actual Fright Nights, there'll be loads more content than ever before being uploaded throughout the actual event. Loads of exclusive videos and stuff that I might not be able to share in the kind of construction updates leading up to Fright Nights, but during the actual event, there will be loads of exciting content. And yeah, keep your eyes peeled for another awesome behind the scenes video. And I'm currently working on something really, really cool um, that will happen at some point in the span of Fright Nights um, that you guys can actually get involved with. However, unfortunately, I'm still kind of ironing out all of the details on that one. So I'm not gonna say too much more about that. But yeah, fingers crossed there'll be something really, really cool that I'll be announcing, hopefully, 
fairly soon. And yeah, all of that is essentially how I'm planning on covering this year's Fright Nights event at Fort Park. I'm honestly so, so excited for this year's Fright Nights. It's my favorite time of the year regardless, and this year is lining up to be a fantastic year, both in regards to um, the construction updates and the live streams, and yeah, once we hit the actual event, it's gonna be so, so much fun. So yeah, thank you all so much for watching this video, and thank you for sticking with the channel. I know you guys love Fright Nights as much as I do, and yeah, it's gonna be a fantastic year. So yeah, as I said, if you're watching this video, as soon as it comes out, keep your eyes peeled for a live stream very, very soon on the channel. And yeah, otherwise, thank you all so much for watching. My name's Jack Silkstone. Goodbye.